Good morning, sports fans. This is George with Custom Tide Flies and Guide Service. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this morning, boys and girls, we are going to be uh, building one of these. This is the uh, chartreuse orange and yellow uh, Amazon special. Uh, you, these are uh, peacock bass flies that uh, get fished down in the Amazon after giant peacock bass. So uh, the first thing you got to do, this is a rattling fly, so the first thing you got to do is build a rattle that gets attached to the uh, back end of the fly. <clears throat> when it's done, when it's done, it's going to look like this. So, I'm using medium hairline rattles, and this is medium uh, hairline easy body. So, first things first, you're going to need 210 denier thread. Um, Typically, I use white for this, but you can use black or, uh, I mean, since the majority of the fly is chartreuse, let's use chartreuse. Okay, so you're going to build a little thread base on the rattle about halfway up. Okay, and then you're going to take your medium easy body and you're going to slide that up over the rattle like that. Now to get this out of the way, you can trim this tag end off. Then just Wrap the thread around. Then you're going to use half inch, half hitches, to finish that off. You could use a whip finish, but I, I don't know. I kind of feel like that requires three hands, and I only have two. <laughs> I use three half hitches. I trim that off. Paint it with UV resin. Hit that with the light. I'm using the medium, uh, it's bigger. These are four aught flies. If you're going to do a, like a rattling bass fly or something, um, just take it down a size to small. And uh, that works pretty well. <clears throat> then you want to pinch this off, uh, I don't know, quarter inch or a little better below the rattle. And then you just trim that off. Now, I typically do my flies in pieces. Um, and the reason I do that is 
because it makes the construction more solid. <clears throat> so it does. So, like, uh, <clears throat> this is the first piece. This is the second piece. This is the third piece. And then this is the completed fly. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to need a, this is a Gamakatsu uh, SL12S 1X, no, it's not a 1X short. This is a SL12S uh, in a 4 aught. You're going to get tied in back here. Don't go past the bend. These are little chunks that I have left over from other flies. Um, you can usually get about four flies out of one. Um, this is the EP um, Andromedus brush in a fire orange. And you want to get six wraps if you can't get the six then you know you can tie it off and add another piece I think this will give me the six there's one two yeah I'll get it three I'm stroking the fibers back as I go. Four. Five. Six. And these are touching wraps, so it's really going to eat up your brush. That's old scissors. So I've had those scissors for probably 30 years. They're all dull and they don't cut thread very well. They cut wire really well. Okay, so there's the first part. How do I do with my brush? I'll just use this. Um, you want to brush these fibers back. This is a dubbing brush. I was looking for my wire brush and I should have been more prepared. See, there's the first piece. Uh, here I would snip it, paint it with uh, 
head cement and then put it on the drying rack. But um, <clears throat> so snip it. Paint it. Put it on the drying rack. There's one that's already dry. Get tied in. Now you got a piece of orange. It's this orange 3D uh, EP fibers. You want to pull these middle out. On both ends. Because you're going to fold this over. And this should even up with the tail. Be a little shorter actually. And then this goes, gets split down both sides. Try to split it evenly. Just pull it and maneuver it around to where you need it. There we go. Okay, next is Pearl. Um, it's actually Sparkle Blue Magic EP Thunderstruck. Just pull a clump, manage it down so that it's like a wing. And you trim those points off square. Okay, and next is yellow EP. Now this is a total um, body length from eye to back of the tail of four to four and a half inches. Okay, so you need to kind of taper yourself out that way. So you get your clump of uh, yellow EP, and those again are the um, 3D minnow and yellow. And you always got one end that's kind of flared out anyway, so 
I have made a ruler on my uh, bench, but this piece should be about six inches in length. And trim that part there off because you're going to need that in a minute. Pull the ends out. Okay. Then you get the middle. That's a three inch mark. Don't take tight wraps here because you got to flare that out. And you want this piece to be about two inches long, a little less, because you're going to flare it a little bit. Put that in the middle. Just spin that around. And you pull this up. Now be careful because sometimes this is where your thread breaks. I've had that a couple of times. You just got to be gentle. Get it into place. You want to give that a paint. Then you're going to attach your rattle. Kind of feel that a little bit. If it's sticky, hit it with the light again. Okay. That's part two. Okay, then you put that off in the drying rack. Part two. Okay, next is yellow. Measure it. Flare it. Find the middle. Okay. 
this would be helpful if I put the thread on. And take your other piece, flare it, measure it. It's a shade shorter than two because you got to take into account you're going to flare it. So basically, what this does is covers up the underside of the thread. Uh, you know, the underside of the shank where the thread is. Okay, rotate it around. Pull your fibers back. Give it a couple of turns to secure. All right, there we go. Next is gold. This is uh, actually it's thunderstruck yellow, just like with the blue magic. Get yourself a sh pretty good sized pull. Shimmery, rattly things. That's what gets the fish's attention. There we go. I'm going to give that a paint. Next is orange. I'm sorry, not orange. Chartreuse. <laughs> now this one is four inches a little bit better four and a half inches okay which means since the hank is nine you're just going to trim it off give it a flare Find the middle. That's too long. Just measure it again, your ruler. Still a little long. There we go. Okay. Just to check, you can 
I got my little ruler set for four and a half. There we go. That's right on the money. Okay. Now, since you used up your whole uh, your whole hank, you gotta cut the uh, underside. You want to cut this right around two inches. Put that under. Oops, I didn't turn the fly over. <laughs> Run the thread all the way out to the front of the eye. You want to, can you close that door, please? Thank you. Okay. Now your last piece is this is uh ep tarantula legs brush in uh chartreuse and pink try to build you a little thread ramp ramp That brings you down to um, your main shank. Then again, wrap this in touching wraps while stroking the fibers back. Get that all the way up in there behind the eye. Take three wraps to secure it before you trim it off. And build your head right here. Fold that little nub of wire down so it doesn't nick your thread.
And I use a five and three whip here, even though I'm gonna put UV resin on it. Okay, now, if you want, which I'm going to do here, you can trim some of this. See this yellow, and it's not really showing the orange. You can trim some of that out. Thin it down a little bit. I just want to be careful you don't get a hold of the orange. Can you get me a pot down for the potatoes, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, the last step is the eyes. I'm using yellow 3D sticker eyes. So, put a little super glue on there. Put the first eye in place, trying your best not to get super glue on your own fingers. Press it on there good. Paint it with UV. Hit it with the light. Then you want to kind of feel for the edges. You're going to get an edge right there. I'll do the same thing on this side. You kind of feel your way back to see where you're going to put the other eye.
Should have done that before I put the eyes on it. Now you might need to give them a haircut to kind of get the right profile going. Like I said, you might want to clip some of the yellow out so you can see the orange. Get you a measurement. There you go, four and a half inches. And that is the custom tied Amazon special in orange, yellow, and chartreuse. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, this is George with Custom Tide Flies and Guide Service. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You can find us on the web at www.custom-tide.com. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, you can find us on Facebook at uh, Custom Tire Zero Two. That's uh, C-U-S-T-O-M-T-Y-E-R-0-2. And uh, uh, custom-tide.com is C-U-S-T-O-M-T-I-E-D.com. Have a splash. Don't forget the dash. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, please, if uh, you enjoyed this, if it was informative for you, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's my Sapper Ho Ho hat. Merry Christmas. Happy time.